Hi everybody, this is Steve from Sound Insight and uh, we are happy to have Eric from Florida here with us picking up his new GT Audio Works GT3 AR speakers that were done special for him in a custom Lincoln black metallic paint. Eric is a hardcore audiophile and drove all the way up from Florida to pick them up in his uh, big minivan. We're about to pack them up. Eric's been here for a little bit listening to them and uh, just want to ask you a couple questions Eric. Um, what are your impressions of the speakers and, and, and why did you buy them? Uh, amazing. Uh, I bought them because uh, I've always been a planner guy. Uh, you know, I like planner speakers a lot. And after looking, researching, custom building uh, planner speakers, custom building light arrays based on VG drivers, uh, I remember one day I called uh, Greg and Steve and I was talking to them. They told me, come back here. I you mean Greg from GT Audio Works, Greg the owner GT of the Audio company, Works. right? And Greg told me to take a plane. I came here with Steve. Steve picked me on the airport, and the first time I listened to this speaker, I was like, oh, "Okay, I gotta have them." <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, the, it's a power magnetic that can go really low in terms of frequency. It's basically a full range driver, and they have a large, you know, area of planar magnetic driver. And they're custom built, and the magnetic power they have, you know, the copper traces, you know, new new magnets, you know, it's, it's built to power. And the nice thing is that not only sound good, but they can play loud, uh, which is something very rare in a planar magnetic driver that you have a speaker that you want to go to concert level, you can. Right, right. So that's the main reason I bought them because it's like you can have the best of both worlds. You can have a speaker that is clear, sounds amazing, like a lot of planar magnetics, but now you can go also loud and play loud music with the same quality, uh, right. which is something that before was on head of. Have you heard a lot of other systems out there, or you yourself had a lot of systems to yes. make this comparison yes. Uh, yes. on? I, I compare, you know, I've been on the shows, I've been to Rocky Mountain other show, audition with plenty of speakers and combinations, and I never see nothing that sounds like this speaker, especially in the planar magnetic range, no. Right, now, uh, you're you using subwoofers with them too? I guess they're open baffle to match the open baffle, open planar, open dynamic uh, yes. uh, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. sound that these are giving you, am I yes. correct? Yes, I'm using uh, open baffle subwoofer. I use some custom base subwoofers with uh, a 415 inch woofer per channel and open right. baffle. Right. No, no, you heard you heard the two twelves here today. Yes. How did they mate with the uh, GT Audio Works speakers? They make amazing, actually. You know, it's, it's incredible that all two all, you know you don't need more than that. You know, you can get more than that if you want it. But those two twelve, they connect perfectly with the speaker. You know, it's a good combination. Right. Was there any uh, 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 problems integrating the uh, subwoofer base of these open baffle servos that you see here seated next uh, next to the speakers? Uh, was there any problems with integration or did they mate fine or were there any problems? No. What was your opinion on that? No, they, 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 they integrate seamlessly. You know, you basically don't know where the panels stop and when the woofer is starting. And I think that's the advantage of that panel because the panel can actually go really low. So basically the subwoofer is actually working only at subwoofer frequency where it should work and not trying to reproduce a base like in other planar magnetic, you know, subwoofer to produce bass, right? Because the planar cannot reproduce bass, right? So, does do, basically do they keep up with the planar magnetic yes. driver? Yes. That's really my question, all right? Yes, they keep up, all right? And would you, did you notice any boom or overhang or sluggishness no. that you get with typical uh, uh woofers that you try to mate with uh planar magnetic design? You didn't notice any of that, those no, artifacts? No. And normally, that happens when you have a planar magnetic that only goes, let's say, 160 hertz, right. and then you need to put this woofer to play all the way to that frequency and that's when you get that sluggishness but in here you don't have that problem because the planner can go really low so right well we've measured these to you know in a, you know rated output to like in the upper 40s so yes, uh, that's, that's a you know very good place to integrate a subwoofer mm -hmm. or anything below 80 hertz well you know eric i uh thank you very much and i uh, wish you the best of luck with them and uh we'll look forward to your video once you get them home in florida and get them set up and We'll watch for that video once uh, they're installed in your uh, man cave. Thanks again. Take Thanks. care. Have a good trip. Thanks. Bye.